There's one type of game we love more than any. It's the one where we get to create our own hero. And we've had some really great examples of that on Xbox 360 and already a couple on Xbox One as well. So we want to give you a rundown of our favorites over the years. We're going to start off with, our, with the newest of the bunch. That's Destiny. Yeah, Destiny has really cool character, uh, character customization. So you get the three classes, the three races, and from there, there's a big sort of wide breadth of options when it comes to hairstyles, makeup, and uh, various other sort of attachments you can attach to your face, which is really cool. And it's just like enough to differentiate you against the masses out in Bungie's huge open world game, which is really cool to Particularly see. Particularly when you're on the tower. Yes. And then once you start playing the game, you're unlocking all sorts of different bits and pieces. You can align yourself with various clans i guess and you know wear different colors and create your own fire team make sure you're matching um so even when you're playing through the game there are so many more options down the line for customization and obviously the game kind of encourages you to try out every single class so you can have your hunter be an exo and your titan be a uh, an awoken or whatever you want to do it's uh, it, you know, there's lots of different options to play with as you say even though it's relatively stripped back and not like the most in-depth character creation system not too bad um one that has a little bit more depth is uh, Dragon Age. Uh, this in case, Dragon Age 2. Lots of different things going on here. I mean, <laughs> you can create some really crazy looking characters in Dragon Age, really. Um, but actually what's quite fun, about it, I, certainly when I was playing around with it again and reminding myself was even when you go quite extreme, they still kind of fit within the world. Yeah. Um, and the other nice thing that you kind of notice is, um, particularly with this kind of intro period of the game, depending on how you look, your family will change too. That's really They've cool. always got the same face, but they might have different lengths of hair or... Uh, yeah, they just kind of behave in a slightly different way, which is quite interesting. It's quite interesting. I think it's always good when a character creation tool can, you know, make sure that you continue to fit in the world because you often see like a problem with maybe a game like uh, Skyrim or uh, Fallout. You know, your character yeah. can sometimes look too far removed from the situation. But, you know, Dragon Age has always been fantastic for being steeped in that fantasy and, you know, it never breaks it, which is Absolutely. awesome. As you just mentioned, Skyrim, and that's clearly another one. Um, I think the big thing here is just there's so many races to pick from. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, the kind of introduction of your character coming off the cart, uh, going off for execution is mm. uh, you know, one of the great intros. Elder Scrolls have always been pretty good at doing those. Yeah, I, I mean, Skyrim has one of the crazy, craziest character creation systems I've ever encountered in a console game. It's so deep has so many options and it can even you know it even continues to change once you're in because you obviously can mm. add things to your character like you're seeing here but you can also become like a vampire and that's again gonna right, change your character even more and it's just it's crazy the amount of sort of freedom they give you from start to to finish i i just love skyrim for that it's perfect yeah another game that's really about making the craziest character you possibly can for me is uh, the wwe uh, wwe series and we started here with wwe 13. It's really hard to say fast. WWE 13. Anyway. I'll leave um, it to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, for me, make, make, making a wrestler in this game is all about getting as crazy as possible. The other thing I really love about the WWE games of recent years anyway, is that it's not just about how you look in the game. You can create your own finisher. You create your own entrance. Uh, just everything about your character. You, you Basically, from walking down the ramp to being in the ring to finishing the fight. This is mental. You can create so much. Uh, and y you can look absolutely insane walking down to the ring too. Uh, you can import your own music, which is great for your intro and stuff like that. It's really an amazing game to get into. I spent more time making a character in WWE games than I do fighting. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really insane. And yeah, we made a quick intro, uh, quick intro and a quick uh, finisher for this guy. Um, I think I called him Punk Basket. Awesome. It's yeah. a good, good naming. Yeah. Very cool. Um, a game I was really impressed with for the character creation was Dragon's Dogma. I mean, I don't think enough people really got into this game. Um, it was absolutely fantastic for character creation. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma was a strange one because it, it came out to little to no hype. You know, it sort of arrived out of nowhere. Those that did pick it up were really sort of impressed with its really deep RPG combat systems. But, I mean, the character cust uh, customization here was surprisingly cool. It yeah. really let you define yourself. Um, well, anything from a small child, as we've got here, yeah. all the way up to a really old man or woman or whatever. Plus, you've got this kind of stance changing, so you can be quite hunched or back, so you can kind of define your confidence almost. The, the character creation kind of helps to pick out your characteristics in a way. Uh, the other cool thing is you get to create your pawns, these uh, characters that spawn with you that are your followers and will help you out. So mm. you can have a completely customized team that you've made entirely your own, um, which is amazing. I mean, I don't know if there's any other game yeah. that lets you get that deep into character customization. Um, you know, to even have your followers be entirely the way you want them to look. Yeah, That's I mean, really cool. it's a solid game as well, and uh, something everyone should pick up if they get the chance to. Yeah, absolutely. Another game, a bit like WWE. WWE. Oh, God. Uh, 
which is all about creating crazy characters if you can was Saints Row and uh, this one's Saints Row the Third um, yeah just an absolutely fantastic so many sliders to play with really crazy hairstyles uh, face paint uh, clothing of course once you get further into the game um, so yeah we had a little fun playing around with Saints Row again here what always surprises me when I see Saints Row in action is I remember back to Saints Row 1 and like mm. how limited it was and then yeah. you, you see the craziness now it's just baffles my mind how it's gone from like GTA clone to this yeah, it's just you know I, I really yeah. it doesn't I don't understand even to the point where I managed to create what looks vaguely like a Scarlett Johansson yeah. character in the game <laughs> Um, and there are so many character models you can find online, like tips of how to create different celebrities and weird and wonderful characters in the game. Uh, once you combine that with the outfits as well, you can create like, really amazing stuff uh, in Saints Row the Third and uh, Saints Row Four, of course, which is basically the same yeah. uh, character creation setup, plus a few extra hairstyles. Um, another great one uh, is Soul Calibur V. Again, a game I probably spent more time creating characters in than I did ever fighting. Uh, same goes for Soul Calibur Four, actually. See, I've never really thought of the Soul Calibur games as having great character customization until you show me this, and it's, I'm genuinely surprised by it. It's crazy town. It's one of those where the limitations kind of play to your advantage. You kind of create characters uh, within those limitations. So I made like, Jake and Finn yeah. here, um, which was really fun to do because I kind of had to kind of make the hat by adding these little items on top. Um, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange is that, fairly yeah. straightforward. It had to create, kind of create a, a symbol on his chest. But basically all the, all the things were there. just had to change some colors. Now there's something like Gambit, I had to kind of do it in a slightly different style. So he's kind of got this oriental style to him in terms of his clothing. Yeah. And the same goes for the Joker, kind of a weird uh, nobleman kind of look um, because you can't really make them look exactly like they would, but you can make them look like a Soul Calibur version of themselves, uh, which is quite fun. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Like, you don't really get fighting games with, with this level of crazy customization. Like, it's so open. It's yeah, so yeah. like you really can do whatever you want. That's really cool to see. Yeah. Again, it's actually fairly subtle with his character creation, but you can have a lot of fun with it. It has been the Mass Effect series, and obviously you could import your character all the way through, so it had a lot of impact if you created the character in Mass Effect 1. This is the Mass Effect 3 one, where things it was a little more, more refinement if you started from this point onwards. Uh, and yeah, it was just so hilarious, actually. I mean, that's the one reason why it's in this list. It's just so hilarious when you create an absolutely insane-looking character and get to play them through the game. Yeah, it's weird, because Mass Effect for me was always one of those games where I always set it on default and just play through as, sort of cut, uh, as uh, default Shep. Yep. And then when I eventually did get around to sort of messing around with it, I was sort of surprised and a bit taken back by how horrible you can make your person look and then play sure. as like a complete, like, super nice man, gentleman. It's just, <laughs> it's weird. It's just like, it felt really strange, but it did, it did make me chuckle on a couple of times, especially on some of the harder decisions. And I just sort of like an absolute jackass. It was pretty cool. But yeah, yeah. absolutely. And again, there's, there's huge communities out there for tips and little slider tips for how to create the best characters. One of my favourites uh, is definitely Fallout 3. Um, and the main reason for this is, again, maybe not the, that many different options, but just the fact that this whole sequence, basically from birth to leaving the vault, so many different ways it gives you to help customise your character. Yeah, I've forgotten about this. This is crazy. I always forget, like, this game came out in, what, like, 2007, 8? 2008? Yeah. It's mental how involving and how deep this game is and how, like, if you're playing this for the first time and you've never played Fallout before, it's just... it's you wouldn't even know what's going on really here, but it's just such a <laughs> clever way of introducing you to the world, the character, your character. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think I've ever encountered an RPG that's really given me that much choice in such a delicate and interesting way, which is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, from birth to being a child, your birthday party and everything else, really, really cool. And another really fun one, again, just for how crazy some of the things are, is uh, using Game Face. Uh, and this was on FIFA 14, where you could only use it in the uh, career mode. Uh, we imported Josh's Side. face into this one. You know one. what? This I don't look like that. <laughs> this is horrible. Like, I thought Game Face had died with like the uh, original Xbox. This was hard. Like we used to, to send off with a like your face to EA and they do it for you. And, like, what's ha I look horrible here. I just don't. Yeah, but you got skills. You're playing for Barcelona. Well, at least I'm getting the big bucks. I guess yeah, setting like, up the goals. Oh, scoring the goals. It's terrifying. I I'm <laughs> impressed. A, that it works, and B, that you've managed to get me still enough to take the photos. But that is just, I'm having nightmares when I look in the mirror now. <laughs> so thank you for that. So that's just a few of our favorite uh, game creation games, character creation games. Um, they're really, really cool. Um, and you can read more about all of those in our next issue of X1.